hey everyone and welcome back to our channel in today's video we are going to show you how to add text to your videos in CapCut. let's begin now the first thing that you need to do is to log in using your credentials if this is your first time in CapCut, i want you to click the sign up option from here just to follow the on-screen instructions and you're good to go Adding text to your video in CapCut is a simple process. If you are new to CapCut using your PC, this is going to be a very helpful step-by-step -step guidelines for beginners to help you add text to your project. So, once you open the CapCut PC, there are two things that you can do. One is you want to start creating your project by clicking this button to begin your work and of course to start from scratch but if you have already an existing project and you're just trying out things here in the CapCut and experimenting and you wanted to test by adding text to your videos just click the existing project now first of all ensure your video is loaded in the timeline where you'd like to add the text if you don't have any videos don't worry because CapCut offers you free videos when you hover to the media click the library there's going to be a bunch of videos where you can search to add your um, text to make it more interactive and engaging. All right. So there's a lot. But please take note of that if you see any pro watermark, that means it requires a subscription. So you might want to skip that. But if you want to import your own media, just click the media right here or press control plus I or command plus I to bring your own videos here in the timeline. Now. Creating a text here is very easy. All I have to do is go to the text section on the top left corner. You have all of these options. You can use the text effects right here and the text template if you want. You, you, they also offer the AI generated, but for now, we're going to be choosing the very basic, which is get adding a text, the default text. There is a plus button. If you click that, you would notice that it will be forwarded to this section right here the default text right click the add button the default text is here select the select tool click the text and the text will be as you can see included in the timeline you can position it from the very beginning you can scrub it so you can make it like synced with the uh, timeline of your videos or elements and then the default text here can be forwarded also here in this section all right so in this case we're gonna be putting in something here for example you can type anything let's say i'm gonna type with this thing right here you see you can you you can basically um reposition the text resize it all you want and of course, you have the capacity to change the font size. For the font, you have like different font style here where you can choose from. It's up to you. And again, remember that all of the Pro requires subscription, so you might want to skip that. But maybe we're going to use something like, it's up to you. What font style would you like to use? Maybe Anton. So you see the uh, font style has been changed. Not only that, you can also use the pattern. You can make it bold, underlined, and also these. In case of the cases, you can also use this options. Uppercase, lowercase, and title case. Of course, it's very important to know that you can also choose a different variation of colors. You see, if you hover your color here in the color scheme, you can choose from any of the following. So you're not limited with the options. All right? And then, of course... You can use a preset style from any of the following sections here, right? You see that? Here, maybe this. So it's up to you. What do you want to choose? You can also click this arrow here to cho choose from any different file for of font style that you wanted. So basically, there's a lot that you can choose from. It's And then... You can scale it if you want, but you can also use this option to drag it, to resize, to make it smaller, to make it bigger. But if you don't want that, just use the uh, slider here. 
you also have an option to reposition and uniform scale and then in terms of the blend if you click that if you want to reduce the opacity kind of like creating a watermark you can also do that but we're not going to do it if you want to add a stroke right now it has like a different stroke you can also do that you can choose a color and the thickness as well you see that the thickness if I change it right here, maybe a different color, like a yellow or maybe like a like a black, you would notice that we can increase the border. So basically, that's one way to add text here in CapCut. It's very easy, really. Now, not only that, you can also add in effects. For your text for example i'm going to be using this rainbow uh, flash to your text let's see if that affected our text here you see that amazing right not only you can add you can also add a text to speech option here wherein if you do that you would have an option to choose from any of the voiceover so that you can generate the text. For example, we're going to be using a sto storyteller or something wacky. Click the generate speech and then the text will be voiced over. It's going to be the text that you have typed in here. All right. So that's one way for you to use the uh, text tool or generate text to speech. Now, if you're happy with the text that you have added here in your cohesive video, click the save as preset if you want. All right. Now, this preset can be changed into something like you wanted to name it. For example, this, click on OK. All right. And now, but the thing is, you want to make sure that you have enough space so that you can save this amazing template that you have created using the text that you have added to your videos and again the next thing that you need to do from here is essentially go to the export button on the top right corner if you want to save it to different file format but the thing is again you want to make sure that you don't use any anything that has has the pro watermark because it requires some uh, subscription so we're going to delete that effect and if we click again the export button on the top right corner you have now the option to export it to different file formats whatever you want all right from 1080 to 4k and 2k and you can also send this copy to your client or if you're part of a collaborative environment you can send it to multiple freelancers or your team members thank you so much for watching we will see you again in the next one